Alright, hey guys, so I just finished my first year of university. I went to University of Toronto and I thought I would share my experience with you guys. Just some tips that I think that I wish I would have known when I was starting university. Alright, so the first tip is I think you should print out your schedule with you just so that you know where you're going. What I did was I actually put my schedule on my home lock screen just so that I have reference quickly when I want to get to class. And there's also some mobile apps, like my school has the U of T mobile app. You can get around and find your way around quickly. So this is the app and it just has like a whole map of the whole campus and you just type in the search bar where what you're looking for and it tells you how far and how to get there. The second thing that I really recommend is attending your orientation classes. I know that a lot of people don't actually like going to these classes because they're like, oh, it's the first day of school, like, they're not really going to teach you much. It's true, they're not going to teach you much on the first day, although they do go over, like, the syllabus and they tell you what textbook you need. Also, for textbooks, I recommend that you not buy the textbook on the first day of class. Wait until a week so that in case your prof changes the textbook, you're not stuck with like a $200 textbook. Regarding textbooks, check online and like Facebook groups because so many people, like old students who had their old textbooks, they put up their textbook. All right, so I can't stress this enough, but going to class is so important because your prof says so many things that could be on the exam. I've had some profs before give little witty jokes in class and they actually had that on the actual exam. So make sure you go to class and take proper notes. You can either take them on the laptop, but don't feel pressured to buy a laptop just for class because pen and paper works just as well and some people actually memorize their things better. For me, I like to write my notes in pen and paper on a notebook. And I actually just bought these colorful pens because I find it so much easier and cute and colorful to study while you're looking at something colorful. It's also easier to memorize too. And for notebooks. I made my own notebook. I'll have the link down below. Um, I just find them really cute and fun, colorful to look at. And they're so much cheaper. About lecture slides, not all your profs are going to put the lecture slides online, but some will. And that's another reason to go to class. Also, um, attending your orientation day gives you the opportunity to make friends Meet a buddy who can hand you, lend you their notes when you're sick or something. So just go to class, ask them for your email, say what's up. If you find yourself struggling, don't be afraid to ask your prof for help. They have after hours. Also, there are Facebook groups that students make for every course so that if you have a question from a certain chapter problem in the book, you can just post your question online and possibly someone will answer. Organization is key in university. So keep an agenda with you and make sure you schedule your time. It's really easy to forget a date or a course day because it's not in like elementary where profs will tell you, oh, you have an exam on this or this day. You actually have to keep track of that yourself. A prof will probably mention it once before the day of the exam. So make sure you listen and check the online websites, all the exam dates, and write that ahead of time in your agenda. Also, um, universities, they usually have like a yearly timetable, so make sure you print that out because it tells you all the dates and deadlines of when you can drop a course or when you can add a course the last days. I know that some people missed it, just like I did. I wanted to drop a course that I wasn't really doing well in, but I missed the deadline, so I was kind of forced to stay into that. Lastly, bring your laptop with you if you're trying to study, if you have a lot of spares and free time bef between your classes. Don't forget your charger and your phone charger and also headphones. Headphones are so important because when you're in a library, not everyone's really quiet and you're trying to study and cram in a little bit of time before your next exam. So you need to tune them out. If you have headphones and it makes it so much quieter, don't be scared to make friends, meet people and join clubs. It's so easy to meet friends in clubs because you're there surrounded with people who actually like the same things as you. So keep an open mind. And don't be afraid to change programs. If you're not doing something that you love, don't do it. If someone's telling you to do something that you don't like, don't do it. All right, thanks, guys. I'll see you soon, and good luck to everyone starting university.